As many of you know, I've been on a journey. Recently, I've been called out by my fellow members of the black community for being a grifter, for being someone who caters to white people, for not understanding what it means to make content for a black audience. And I recognize that that has been something that has troubled me. I have slowly become a white person and I have been on the journey to get the whiteness out of my body. And I thought that a training course on how to be less white would help me. I thought that learning that whiteness was a pandemic would help me and nothing's work and I feel I'm slowly turning into the middle-aged white man that looms in my ass crack. I'm slowly becoming someone named Earl. I will no longer become the sexiest black man on YouTube. I will become the sexiest white man on YouTube and to prevent that from happening I have found yet another article hoping to get the whiteness out of my body and it is titled yes all white people are racist. First, learn what racism is and what it's not. I need white people to understand that all white people are racist. Admit it. And let's move on to the business of repairing and healing the country. We can't do it without you. Yes, we're going to generalize all of white people and then ask them for help because that's always the number one idea. Yes, my dears, all white people are racist. All of them. Here's where you stop to cry, clutch your pearls, rant and rave a lot to tell me how wrong I am and to tell me not all white people. I'm doing reverse racism. There's no such thing as reverse racism. Yes, there is. And you're ready to do it tit for tat with me and every black person on the internet because you're too afraid to say this nonsense in person. I would disagree with you on that. I feel as though if a black person were to walk up to a random white man and say, hmm, I think you're racist. I have no evidence to back it. I don't know you personally. I'm just going to assume that because you're white, you're an evil white racist who's a white supremacist and you probably stormed the Capitol because that's what every single white person did that day, whether if they were actually there or if they were in California jerking off to some picture of some random transgender. You are an evil human being and I don't like the fact that you exist. And for some reason, defending yourself against that is also bad. Apparently, defending yourself against a false accusation is a bad idea nowadays because you're just supposed to take the heat. You're supposed to take somebody's random accusation as if it's gospel without proving otherwise and because if you do prove otherwise oh you're proving them right that you are oppressing someone speaking out against you with a false accusation this idea of generalizing is not a good idea and for the hard-headed motherfuckers who like to lie about my content and the titles of my videos and not watch the full video in full I'm talking specifically to people with this idea of generalization that just because one person did it everybody does it as well. That's a dumb idea. It doesn't create unity. It creates more fucking divide. I have fill in the blake white person savior activity here, so I know I'm not racist. I don't say the n-word. I go to church with black people. I even go to lunch with black lady guy for my job. I have a biracial child. I date black women and men. Boy, this person really took the time to worry about the excuses people bring up. My husband wife is black. I work in an all black fill in the blank setting. I'm not racist. I'm liberal. I voted for Hillary. That makes you a racist. I use hashtag black lives matter. Matter. That was a waste of time. I have a black friend that I never talked to about race. I know. I've heard it all already, honey. I know. You are a product of your racist American environment. Now, here's where I kind of agree and kind of disagree. Saying that you have black person here in your life really doesn't mean anything. You could have a Chinese person and still hate Chinese people. That's really not much to the conversation. You could just say, no, I'm not, and continue about your day. You don't have to bring up the rank random black person you know to prove that you're not racist. So I kind of agree there, but again, you have to defend yourself against a false accusation like that, especially if you're indeed not racist. You're a racist, love, but it's okay to admit it. I'm ready for you to admit it so that we can move on to bigger things. So you want people to just lie about themselves to worry about a quote unquote bigger issue. You're denying the obvious, stalled the long road to healing. <laughs> no, no, you put a false accusation on a random person you don't know is denying the opportunity of healing, you dumbass. You're not helping anybody. You're creating more divide towards the people who are on your side. Even the people that are doing the Black Lives Matter hashtags, taking the time out of their day to protest and riot under the guise of BLM. You're not helping looking at those people assisting you and saying, yeah, you're still racist. 
You, you can't help you were born to racist parents who were raised in the white supremacist system. You can't help with tearing down the racist systems and structures that support you and kill me and my sons based on flawed science crafted by flawed white and European people. White people admitting they are racist is necessary for those individuals desiring to do something right now. If you can't do that, I can't rock with you. I can't walk with you. I can't talk with you. I can't help you. And I'm damn sure can't trust. You. Racism got us into this mess. Anti-racism is the only thing that will get us out of it. It's been 400 years. Y'all can't keep running from yourselves. All white people are racist. And in fact, that you need a special out like not all white people label is disheartening because it says to me, you are racist, but you're in denial about it. No, that says to me that this individual is not going to stand for your bullshit of generalization. They're not going to stand for you sitting there labeling something that they're not. They're not going to stand and for you bullying them into submission because you're uncomfortable with doing something for yourself and you want to blame everyone else for your shitty behavior. And for that reason, I really can't jive with this article and I feel as though my whiteness is growing even stronger. I feel like I'm ready to file my own taxes. I'm ready for my 401k. I'm ready to buy property and have my white children play in the sand. I am ready to do the most white thing of all, touch some grass. To me, this kind of white person is the most dangerous kind of white people I know, and I just don't have time to play games with you all anymore. They are so busy dodging responsibility, they can't see the obvious racism in needing an exception to the rule. There are no exceptions to racism and white people. You're born into that gang. I didn't know white people can join gangs. Now is the time to show that black lives matter. It's time to show us any lives matter besides a white one. Well, damn, how am I supposed to do that if you're not even going to take the time to value my life and my opinion. I'm a white guy. I'm fat. I have four eyes. I have a neck beard. How come you're not going to value my life, but you want me to worry about yours, especially when you are spending your lifetime hating on me for being white? I'm very confused about the unity that's supposed to be happening here. I'm trying to help white people. No, you're not. Help us by showing them how white supremacy and racism works when you're not white. So don't talk. Just listen. You can talk at the end of this. I need you white and white passing people, they're talking about the biracials, to understand that a white person or a non-black person of color unwilling to admit their inherent anti-blackness is not an ally but an enemy. You cannot fix what is broken unless you admit to yourselves you've been raised and taught by racist parents who raised you in a, in a racist system and white spaces to give you the best chance of making it in a white world because they knew how how bad it was being black, period. I don't care where you are in the world, everyone knows they don't want to be black because white people have taught the world black people are bad despite them needing us to survive. I can't read the rest of this fucking article, I can't. This is just so much of a stereotype towards black and white people that I genuinely am confused as to how you think this is going to bring people together. This article is long and there's more to it, but I can't stomach it anymore. I genuinely can't take the time to stomach this and read it on camera because I know that the rest of this is just gonna be a bunch of generalization. It's not going to provide anybody to have this unity, to sit down and actually understand each other, to actually understand people's points. If you're going to sit down and the first thing you're going to say is, all of you are bad. Every single white person here watching this is an evil human being. You have no good in you. You're evil, you hate me me because I'm the sexiest black man on YouTube. You don't want any sort of divide, but I also want you to listen. I also want you to take the time to worry about me and worry about my problems because my problems are more important than your problems. It's like I can't for the life of me understand how somebody could be this brain dead to want unity, but also generalize and segregate individuals from actually being unified. And I understand we have a nation divided and it would be best if we all come together to at least listen to one another to understand a way for us to get better. This 
ain't the way. This article ain't how you supposed to do that and it won't help in the long run. I don't see why people keep doing this. Whether if you're white, black, Asian, Chinese, Japanese, Tokyo, Japan, wherever the fuck you're from, whatever your ethnicity is, putting these generalizations on people is not going to help unity. It's going to create more divide. It's going to create more people hating everybody based off of one person. And it's going to have more situations happen where we're constantly at each other's throats. So please, I would like for all of you to sign up for the Worldwide Circle Jerk. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is a Worldwide Circle Jerk? It is an opportunity for us to get rid of the stress that has been in our bodies for all of these years and let it out together. And if you don't believe what I'm saying is true, just take a look at this clip of two individuals trying to rob somebody and it didn't work out because this is the proper example of what it means to be divided and two kids getting their asses handed to them. I really just wanted to add that clip into this video. Subscribe to the channel. Generalization is not going to help you. All white people aren't racist. Actually deal with the racist people in the meantime. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.